What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and I am going to be telling you new Town Hall 13s exactly what you need to be upgrading in today's video. Um, so I know there's a lot of videos out there about Town Hall 13, I'm going to try to focus on things you guys aren't seeing as much, such as what to upgrade, uh, how to place defensive buildings, all the stuff that not, a lot of the other YouTubers aren't doing, because um, I have to pick my battles so to speak. And um, this is something I think is very important because there's so much to upgrade at Town Hall 13. Uh, it's overwhelming. You don't know where to start. Um, I'm going to be breaking it all down. And I have the help of a nice spreadsheet that was prepared. And I wish I could credit the author. Uh, maybe I will if I find out. Uh, it was forwarded to me from someone else. But I have a spreadsheet that breaks down kind of what should you should be upgrading. It has a list of everything there is. Buildings, troops, defenses. Um, just everything you can possibly think of that you have to upgrade, including heroes and all that. So, and it shows the importance of it and what you should do first. But I want to highlight um, some of the the main points that the spreadsheet points out, which I do agree with um, in, entirely almost uh, on everything it says to upgrade because it's based on the costs of everything and it spreads it out so that you're not going to... Um, you know, waste resources, upgrading something that's not as important first. It gets the priorities done first. And this is, of course, all to make you, uh, you know, the most competitive and get you to max as quickly as possible, allowing you to compete in high-level game uh, gameplay as early as possible. Okay, um, let me just get started with some of these points. Uh, the, you have upgrades for Elixir, Gold, and Dark Elixir. Those are the three resources. So for the elixir, the first things you're going to want to focus on, and this is also reflected in the spreadsheet, um, is the laboratory. Of course, you got to get that upgrading so you can start doing troops in there. The grand warden, and the reason is um, you don't have a whole lot else to do with your elixir, to be honest. Uh, the only other thing is upgrading a couple of your gold storages to allow yourself to hold enough gold to make other upgrades that you'll need to do uh, defensively. But besides that, there's not a whole lot else to do. Um, I guess you can upgrade your barracks, and that's kind of a judgment call if you think the new troop is worth it, and I think it's yet to be seen exactly how strong the new troop is going to be, um, so you're going to have to think about that, but really besides those four, there's not a whole lot to do, which is why the warden something you want to get done uh, quickly, because it's valuable to have him be uh, maxed out at level 50, um, so laboratory, warden, gold storage, and then the new barracks uh, level, and you only have to do one of your barracks. Okay, gold, uh, clan castle, that's a big one. You get another five uh, capacity. That's something you're going to want to get done. It'll help with farming. It'll help with war. Um, I think it adds capacity. There's just lots of reasons to do it. Um, new defenses, I'd say drop uh, the new scattershot defenses. Those are definitely going to be worth it. Um, and they have to be done at some point anyway. And we're not talking about war weight. Uh, those are kind of the old days of CWL. At this point, it's get to max as fast as possible. Um, so drop those new defenses. The good news is, um, I think if you have the gold pass, a lot of these gold defend, uh, gold upgrades will be doable with the current Town Hall 12 gold storage. If you don't have the gold pass, I'd recommend it, but you know, not everyone is able to pay the, the money for it. Um, you're going to have to upgrade your storages sooner because things cost more. You don't have a discount that you get pretty quickly uh, with the gold pass. Um, so you're going to have to get the storages done quicker. But um, if you do uh, get the gold pass, you can get the new defense without upgrading your gold storage at all, which is helpful. So that's not the first thing you have to do with your elixir. Um, I think that covers uh, pretty much everything for gold that you have to do right away. Um, I would say do the elixir storage also because eventually there's going to be troop upgrades that are going to be beyond the Town Hall 12 capacity of elixir, so get that done. Um, but that's that's about it. There's tons of new defensive levels. I mean, it's crazy. Town Hall 12 was not like this at all. Um, they gave it to us all at once, so there's a bunch to do, but uh, focus on Clan Castle, drop in new defenses, and then just slowly upgrade the defenses uh, as you see fit, um, there's really not a great order to do it because it all has to be done, guys. That's the thing. Um, just get get on the gold grind and just keep your builders busy. Dark Elixir. Okay, get the new hero, the Royal Champion, and get her to five. Get the ability. And then do your Archer Queen. Then Archer Queen, Archer Queen, Archer Queen. 
Uh, and then King, don't you dare upgrade a single Dark Elixir troop until your heroes are maxed. That's my recommendation. Spend your Elixir in your laboratory. Do the Elixir upgrades. Um, Dragon, Healer, Balloon, all safe upgrades uh, that cost Elixir. Do those first. That's my recommendation. Use your Dark uh, for your heroes. Um, a few other things I want to recommend slash point out. The runes uh, that fill up your resources, those magical items. Uh, use them once you max out your storages. You'll get more value out of them that way. It's tempting to use them right away, but use it right after uh, you empty out your storages. You have max capacity. Get that full 15, 16 million, whatever it is. Get the most value there. Um, what else? What else? Uh, the hammers, the automatically upgrade stuff. Use it for the eagle. That's a very expensive upgrade. If you have a hammer of, uh, I think, building or... Yeah, I think it would be a hammer of building or something. Use that on your eagle. It's extremely expensive. That's the best value. And I'd say use the hammer of uh, heroes. I'd say use that on your queen. That's also going to be an expensive upgrade. But I think that pretty much covers it, guys. Um, hope this video helped. I linked the spreadsheet below. That's going to be your master list of everything uh, you need to focus on. So take a look at that. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on the channel. More to come. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.